<laughs> so curious. Yep. Oh, 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 yeah. Hello my crazies, Reagan from Horse Crazy Mama here, here to help you get your first horse and beyond. If that sounds like something that you are trying to do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. So today is a very special day. I have realized I've posted a lot of Western riding videos, even though that's not my forte. Uh, I've mostly been just doing trail rides and some barrel rides just to try something new to kind of shake things up a little bit. And this week I got to actually go back into my comfort zone, which is English. And I kind of thought that I would compare the two, see how they are different and how they might be similar and maybe help you guys determine which discipline that you would prefer or that you would like to try out. So with Western, the lure and the draw for me was the community. People are so awesome. Just at rodeos and the cowboy vibe has always been a lure and I, I just love the people. It's just a great sense of community and a great sense of being neighbors and just being passionate about these horses together. Whereas English, it's always been, for me anyways, this might be different in diff different uh, communities and neighborhoods and such, but English has usually been a lot more competitive. Um, people seem to be more standoffish, much more strict. Uh, a lot of people seem to be like, don't touch my horse or I will cut you, <laughs> which is a little scary. So that, that definitely has a pro towards the Western community. However, once I started riding Western and once I started, you know, really giving it a shot, kind of fulfilling a childhood dream, of putting on a western saddle and becoming a cowgirl, you know, I kind of realized it wasn't as comfortable for me. Um, and it wasn't because, you know, I wasn't used to anything. It was mostly because I didn't know a lot about it. And after learning some tips and tricks, I was giving it a good shot, a good go, making sure that, you know, it wasn't just because of unfamiliarity or just because I was resistant to change because everybody knows everybody is resistant to change. After giving it a few weeks, actually a few months, I think I've been riding Western all summer and then well into winter time as it's January now, good grief. It, it just didn't sit well with me. It didn't feel as natural per se and it, that's, Maybe a very flimsy excuse, but I didn't find it as comfortable and it didn't come as, as naturally to me as the English saddle did and the English discipline. Also, it's kind of annoying to me that I can't jump in a Western saddle. Like everything seems so bulky <laughs> and I don't mean that as, you know, a pass that anybody who likes Western riding, it's totally fine. You guys go out there, do what you love. I think it's amazing. My sister-in-law is hardcore Western. She absolutely loves it. Uh, it's, it's just not my flavor, which is totally fine, but I've been giving it a go. And Bingo has been an excellent uh, mount as I've been testing this out, as well as Doc. Doc is actually dual trained. He does both Western and English. I believe he started out as an English horse actually, and they just moved him onto a Western saddle as he got older to, to, um, to kind of adhere to the lesson horse kind of feel so that the students were safer. And it just kind of transferred onto my mother-in-law and she's more of a Western rider and she does more trail rides and stuff like that. And Western saddle is definitely more condu conducive to that. But as you can see with Bingo here, um, I I guess I'm not quite as used to sitting so far back in the saddle and I realized that my contact with the reins has a lot more say in how the horse moves as Bingo is used to me moving the reins forward on his neck up towards his ears for him to kind of elongate and uh, stretch out. I'm used to collecting and keeping the horse you know grouped up underneath me so as to prepare for jumps and such, but with Bingo, it kind of collects him too much. And so his canter and his trot and everything seem to be much too bouncy and 
it was just a clash of disciplines. Also, he stops very suddenly, as I've explained in my previous video, so I had to hold on to the pommel pretty tight there, uh, just to make sure I didn't go flying forward or, you know, <laughs> anything untoward like that. But we still have a lot of fun and I still enjoy the horse. Bingo is such a sweetheart. He's very, very uh, goofy. He has a big personality and he's just a lot of fun to ride. Now onto my favorite discipline, which is show jumping and eventually, hopefully, uh, cross country. Uh, I am huge into English. I absolutely love the discipline. It's been a passion ever since I very first tried it. Um, and it's just a lot more comfortable for me. I don't know exactly why, or I think it just has a lot um, a lot to do with having more liberty in the saddle, just freedom of movement and being able to be more mobile on top of the horse, as well as, you know, being, being the horse to be more mobile themselves and being able to do more things that are, might be a little bit more difficult with a bulky west western saddle. But of course, I am extremely rusty. I actually haven't jumped a horse in 10 years before this video. So you will notice that I will have the wrong diagonal when I trot. I usually only go in one direction because I'm trying to be kind to Doc as he has not jumped in a long time. So we're only doing some very small jumps here. We're not doing anything too strenuous, just to kind of be kind to his older joints and to kind of make sure that he's healthy and strong. He did get extremely excited though I as I was writing. It was like something clicked within him and he was like, oh, I remember how to do this. And he was all kinds of excited and he was running around everywhere. My husband during this video makes a comment about <laughs> forcing the poor horse to jump. And yeah, I was having a hard time getting him to stop jumping, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious because Doc is just he is this quiet, lazy, laid back horse. Uh, he does have an opinion. He can be quite stubborn at times, but you know, it's just more, it just surprised me. Uh, I was just intending on doing some canter work over the poles. I did not expect him to jump the first time. I was just kind of making sure that I was getting his paces in and making sure that, you know, we were well balanced before we tried anything like that. And nope, he, he was going for it. He just kind of took off and he was like, okay, I'm not stopping until we stop. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Kind of reminded me why I love this this discipline so much. But with, um, with Western, like I said, the community is fantastic and I love the reigning, the reigning discipline. Just watching them in action is absolutely incredible. And barrel racing looks like so much fun. I've only tested it here and there, kind of seeing how how to do it, and you know, it, it looks like a lot of fun, and it seemed like a lot of fun. However, for myself, there's just kind of this uh, this bigger challenge for me, anyways, in memorizing a jumping course and in working together with the horse and going over the jumps with you on their back and just doing these more complicated, more elegant almost. Is that the right word? I, I think that's the right word. It's just more, it feels more delicate than, you know, running around barrels or, or spinning in circles, which definitely can have a delicacy to that. I'm not saying it can't. I haven't experienced it yet because I am extremely new to this, but just to me, I, I'm more familiar with this and I, I know what the challenge is and it's something that I definitely, definitely uh, enjoy. So that's the bias. That's the, uh, the attempt at being impartial. <laughs> As you can tell, I definitely have a preference. But um, if you are trying to determine whether to go Western or whether to go English, honestly, I'm just going to tell you try both. Just give them both a shot, a fair a fair trial. Like I said, I did this for, I did Western for six months before deciding it wasn't exactly for me and I'll still use the Western saddle for trail rides and to exercise bingo and to kind of put them through through uh, barrels and such. But my love will always and forever be the English saddle and jumping. It's, it's quite the thrill. Some people it kind of uh, intimidates them a little bit, but once you, I tell you what, once you go over your first jump is it's addicting. It's very addicting, even if it's just teeny tiny, like the little six inch, <laughs> six inch jumps that we did during this ride. <laughs> 
So go ahead and leave a comment down below as to which discipline you prefer, whether you like the English or the Western saddle, and maybe what you like to compete in in those saddles. Maybe you're in reining or barrel racing or cattle cutting, or I probably said that totally and completely wrong and I'm so sorry, you cowgirls and cowboys. Or if you're into English and into eventing or into dressage or into maybe English or Western pleasure. Whatever your, your passion is, go ahead and leave it in the comments below and maybe why you love it so much. Go ahead and let those who are still learning and still trying to decide for themselves which saddle they want to choose and train in. Um, just the benefit and the maybe the drawbacks of each one and maybe we can get a discussion going and really help some people out. Be sure to uh, like this video if you enjoyed it, if you found it any kind of helpful <laughs> and go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so the next time I upload you guys won't miss it. I will see you guys soon and be sure to keep the crazy in horse crazy y'all. Bye.